Welcome back. It's another Steve Spangler Science Morning. And this morning, you know, the athletes competing in the Olympic Games need plenty of talent and skill, but they also need a little help from some high-tech science if they really want to get that competitive edge. We just saw that with those swimsuits there. Yeah, just How amazing. cool is that? Yeah. You know, resistance plays a huge part. And they have uh, such a tremendous skill. <clears throat> but any type of advantage, I mean, what did we see, eight, eight one-hundredths of a second or whatever? Yeah. So any type that, anytime you can have that uh, really resistance, advantage you know you mm -hmm. just want to avoid that so the whole idea is this as you can see it with these kinds of things it's fairly simple to be able to show kids we want the air to be able to go around you don't want to block air you want it to go around so you can kind of show that simply with uh, some simple things sitting here so we have toilet paper and plungers and you yeah. got a hair dryer so this will do it okay. so if you turn on the hair dryer I'm gonna hold the balloon here lower <clears> high. oh let's go high because it's the morning show oh, all right okay. so, okay. so here you go so take a look, nice so take a look at the air it's coming up you can't see it but right. it's actually going around the balloon and suspending it. Yep. So it's Bernoulli's principle. Fast moving air creates this area of lower pressure. Uh -huh. You can even tip it to the side just a little bit. Bring it down. It almost looks like mad. Keep on going. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit. Isn't that kind of cool? If that yeah. was out of frame, it would kind of look like it's floating. And then finally you turn it off and I've got it. Bingo. So we're not saying that the athletes are floating in the air, but we are saying if you saw, for example, the um, uh, the cycling races uh, yesterday right. in cycling, they were actually drafting. So one behind the other one to be able to reduce that it's, resistance. I see. So it kind of comes Makes up the and air around. move around them. Absolutely. So I got it. And it's okay. a great way to be able to do this for kids. So whether you're doing it with a ping pong ball or that silly balloon, look, you can do it with, uh, with toilet paper as well. If you blow up and over the top of the toilet paper, yeah. it actually lifts the toilet paper up. So here, watch this. If it goes over the top. See how it lifts oh, it up? Yeah. So we can thank Daniel Bernoulli uh, for this. And I mean, uh, amazing things that they're doing there. And if you just get that air around you, even with the, what do they call the rowing yesterday? The, oh, the skulls. Sculling, skulls. Yeah. And that it just is as straight as they can be and to be as aerodynamic as possible. Look, and it's a hairdryer for the morning. <laughs> just in case you don't have time in the morning, <laughs> right. you can kind of use this one here. So this okay. one will work fairly well. Oh, so you go. oh yeah, All right, fast so here, dry right here. Hang on to this. This is, this is even better. I yeah, try, yeah. See, it's not bad, is oh, it? Oh, yeah, no, not, it's not at bad all. at all. So, here, that's coming to you, coming to you, coming to you. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Are you okay, Beck? Is everything fine? Oh, all we're right. great. So, look, this is my favorite thing here. Just hold on to the plunger. Okay. It's new. We used it once, but it's fine. So, hang on to the plunger. So, you're there. And now the toilet paper goes over the top. I do it. The, which kind of person are you? This way or this uh, way? Oh, the, let's do it the other way. No, or, just do it this oh, way. Okay. It works better, all right? I, <laughs> so, I, I shouldn't have asked you that. I'm not scared I, to touch I, the plunger. I know. Steve. You're going to be fine. It's brand new. All right, so this goes over the top. Yeah. You'll tell them about the website. I'll shoot this up in the air later on. You got it? Oh, that fast moving air, an area of low nice. pressure. Has can, nothing to do with the Olympians. Yeah, nothing at all. You can find this and many other Steve experiments on our morning.